Hey y'all, how y'all doing? Ooh, see if I can take a nice video. There we go. So what I'm doing now is I'm looking in the mirror. Um, and I am just sitting back reflecting on a lot of different things as, that has happened and are happening in my life currently. And I'm trying to figure out how am I going to maneuver um, my next move so it can be a good move, you know what I mean, and hopefully bring me some prosperity later and good networking. Um, so I'm just trying to figure this out. Um, I feel like I have a, a great future at, at this point. Um, regardless if I'm working a W-2 or if I am, um, filing as an, as a business owner. Um, so either way I would, I'm, I'm sure I would greatly, um, achieve, you know, and be able to maintain with the experience and the things that I know and, um, applying my business ethics, um, I have never been at this place in my life ever, you know, to where I feel comfortable. So even if my job told me tomorrow, um, now for you're fired, I wouldn't even sweat about it. I already got my plans. You know what I mean? And it feels really comfortable being in this position that I am right. I'm in right now. I am 45 years old. Um, and I'll be 46 April 16th. And I have talked about me getting my bachelor's degree, you know, and I've shared some things. Um, but that bachelor's degree is not going to, um, I mean, the, the things that I've learned, it will benefit me. It will benefit me. Don't let, let me get, let me change that. It will definitely benefit me because of the things that I've, I've learned because I started off in school and in advertising. Okay. So advertising, I had, to, I was the best in lettering. So my lettering was always on point. My teacher told me, so I always try to, um, do my best in lettering and then the illustrations and things like that. Um, I was, you know, receiving high grades for that, you know, um, I did graphic designs and, um, I did a lot of different things for like commercials and, um, advertising because that was what I was going to school for. So these are some of the things that I am applying to what I am doing and trying to get started right now, but I am taking my time. So don't make it no mistake as if I'm getting comfortable because I'm not, but I'm taking my time. We have COVID going on. People can't get together really, you know what I mean? And then everybody re reacts to COVID differently. You know, I'm not discrediting those who, um, who may have passed or those who may have been like me to really not have any symptoms, but I just want to do what I need to do because I want to make sure that I apply all of the years of customer service that I have gained through all of the jobs that I have worked. Um, and I've, I'm, take, I'm taking that information in and I'm hoping to put it out 10 times um, because I, I know what um, it takes to be a black person and to receive good customer service from your own people um, that that's, that's a huge thing. So I'm going to apply that along with the years of, um, education that I have gained with, um, introduction to business. I've taken that class three fucking times. <laughs> so I'm, I'm pretty, pretty good with that. Um, and then, um, I understand the different legalities and, different stuff and how to maneuver and do my research. Research is huge. You research is huge with life period. If you do not do your research, you will find yourself in a fucked up position. Let me say that first and foremost. 
So my education has, has taught me a lot and it taught me how to look at information to see if it's um, legit information or just someone's opinion. So um, then um, I also have the um, communication where um, I'm sure a lot of you, I used to say um, 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 50 million times and I still do, you know, but I'm, I'm working on it. You know, it's all a process in how you do things um, and you have to learn from everything that you do is, is the key. So as long as you're learning, even though if you are fucking up, okay, for one, don't fuck up to the point where it's going to fuck up your life. That's not even a question. But if you fucking up to something, you know, that's not going to cost you your life, but it's something just stupid, you know, you're going to have a backlash for it. I don't know why you would do it anyway. Um, but still learn from it. Learn from it. I don't care if it's from relationship to to jobs, to whatever. If someone is offering you information, you need to take it. Take that information and what the fuck you do is you grow from it. You grow from that information and you apply it to whatever it is that you can do. Because being short-minded and um, pushing away information because you don't think it applies to you, that's dumb as hell. That's dumb as hell. Let me tell you, education is the biggest debt that black people fucking have. And we can educate each other by just talking and sharing information. You know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But anyway, changing the, changing the subject. Um, I think, bottom line, we got a lot to learn from each other. And we got to stop looking at each other as if we're challenging and we're um, against the next person, the next black person. No, we are our own worst enemy. We need to stop that. We are a race that is um, so divided and we have to realize we're not against it. We should not be, be against each other. If I see another fucking beautiful black female out there, I will fucking compliment her. No, I don't like females. No, not even for, for play. But if you're beautiful, you're beautiful. There's nothing wrong with complimenting the next person or giving someone some information to help them grow in their business. But until we unite and come together and stop all the bullshit and... I mean, I just, I just, I see us coming a long way. In some ways, we, we kind of backlashing. We, we backlashing. And we're not going to get this shit right until we all just actually just stop looking at each other to fucking fail and fall. We got to give each other 100% until they prove you wrong. And then at that time, you, you, you stop fucking with them in that area. But we need to push and we need to respect the next person, the next black person, because um, we all we got. Other races, they hang together. You know? They're all for their people. We have to be the same way. We, we, we can't. We can't teach our kids on how to survive if we can't even hang together and respect each other and, and take care of each other. Even if it doesn't benefit you, you know it's still going to benefit cause you in the long run. Because who knows? Your child may end up marrying their child later on in life. And at least they know they got a background and, and you know, they're taking care of their business because you've given them information to, to help them push along. You know, you don't know what, what, you, what you're feeding into, but plant seeds everywhere that you can. And that's all I'm going to say. Um, this dude right here is asking to go outside or I guess he wants some attention. <laughs> so I guess I'm going to go ahead and stop this video, but I love y'all. And, um, that's just a few of my thoughts that I, I've been having. And I just wanted to share them with you. I'm sitting in my bathroom. 
I know that light was kind of reflecting, but I, I really didn't too much care if you saw my face or not. I just wanted to let you know that I was talking. But um, y'all have a good night and um, happy Saturday.